is. Oh, I gotta shift over. It is. It's go time. Baby, we're in the back in the Stanley Cup final for the second time in one since 67. Second time ever. We are four wins away from the completion of our goal. The whole point of this series is to win the Stanley Cup. And we're so close. We are... We... I think, oh, thank you for uh, gifting a sub. I think we've had, we have the best team we've ever had. Out of every team we've built over 12 years of franchise mode. Remember, it is, look at, look at this, look at the screen. Look at the top right there. 2033. It is 2033. And we have not won a Stanley Cup. The whole point of this series is to complete the game. And in my mind, Completing the game is winning the Stanley Cup because if you're not familiar, the rules of this stream are we don't we do everything that GMs can do and we leave the coaches to the coaches things. We have the players play, meaning we simulate all the games. We simulate the edit lines, like the coach that we hire uh, edits the lines. Our coach, by the way, is Phil Kessel. Phil the Thrill, Phil Kessel. Yes, we signed him after he retired as our head coach, and he's led this team to. A Stanley Cup final versus the Vegas Golden Knights, who had a really good regular season. But one thing that we've learned throughout franchise mode is that you don't want to be the favorites. We've we've played this for so long that we know being the favorite is not great. We've Jacu Kubo knows exactly where I'm going with this. So look at that. So so take a look at where we are in the standings. We finished this season fifth overall in the standings. Vegas was third overall in the standings. We've won the President's Trophy once. We've won the Eastern Conference, I want to say, five times. We went on a six-year winning streak of the Atlantic Division. We've always been number one or number two in league standings for like a good chunk of of this franchise mode for like a good 10 out of our 12 years. We've either finished one, two or three in league standings, but not this year. This year we were comfortably third in the Atlantic. We were third in the Eastern conference. We were fifth in league standings and we weren't an underdog going into the playoffs. We weren't the favorite. I like to call it an overdog. We were correctly dogged. That's what we were this year. And that seems to be the trick for all of your cil cylinders firing at the same time in the playoffs. You can't be this juggernaut coming in with all-star talent because that's what we were for like 10 years and it never worked. All we did was build all-star teams. And this year, we built a reasonable team. It's damn good. It's damn good. I'll show you, I'll show you our lineup right now. We are correctly dogged. That is what we are. I'll show you what we're what we're uh, working with here. This is our offense. Our offense is unbelievable. Top to bottom, Matthews, Patan, Genther, Shish, Turcotte, Orb, Walensky, Farrell, Forstrom, Kurashev, who was our side fish at the trade deadline. We did not go big fish hunting. We didn't even get a little fish. We asked the waiter, hey, can we get some fish on the side? So we got Philip Kurashev for a couple late round draft picks, I believe a third and a fourth, and we added him to our lineup. We got our side fish, and he's been an all star with this team, solidifying that fourth line. Our offense has been really great this entire playoffs. We have not gone, we've gone one game this entire playoff run where we didn't score three goals. Only one game where we didn't score at least three goals, which is a crazy stat for an entire playoff run. Our defense. Our defense is where we solidify our correctly dog status. Because we're not all stars up and down on the D, but we're solid. Jeff Perrin, the 27-year-old that we drafted, he's been solid in that number two spot. But he's not the best in the world. He's an 82. He's solid. Next to Brant Clark, Adam Fox, who picked him up at the trade deadline a couple years ago. He has three Norris trophies for us. Zach Wierenski, last year, 
acquisition. We got his signing rights from, I forget where he was at the time, might have still been Columbus. I don't know. We got Wierenski's rights. We signed him to a deal, one-year deal. He's been living up to expectations. We're going to bring him back next year and go try and do this again. Strombo, we made a trade for Strombo, 22 years old. He's going to mature into a, a top four defenseman. But right now, he's just young and playing under his talents, his future talents. Same with Alan Young. Alan Young is young. Go figure. Playing under his, ta- his future talents, 6'5", huge defenseman playing on that third pairing. And in goal, the narrative of this entire playoff run has been Alexander Tarasov's play. I was speaking with Stove Dingle and Adam Wilde this afternoon after Stove Dingle and I recorded the Steve Dangle podcast with, uh, with Steve Dangle, Adam Wilde, and Jesse Blake. And I was telling them about the stream because they, they didn't catch it on Wednesday. And I was saying how I accidentally built the Leafs in one since 67. Because we've, we've built the team here. Us and, me and the crab people. Crab people, let me hit your button. Crab people, crab people. I was telling them how I accidentally beat the Leafs. Because we have a team that can outscore their problems. That's pretty solid on D. But is being let down by the goaltending. We have created the Morazic Leafs where Alexander Tarasov cannot stop a beach ball, but we have so much scoring that it doesn't matter. The Leafs in real life have a, a, a safe percentage under 900. I, I think that's still the case for the team as a whole. Uh, safe percentage under 900. I know it was, it was running that for months. So what we're getting in this virtual world is the exact same thing where Tarasov, I will show you his dang stats in the playoffs. In oh, those are regular season stats, which are even worse. In 892. But somehow we've reached the Stanley Cup final and are four wins away from beating the game. In 892 has got us to this point. Thankfully, we just score. All we do is score. And Alexander Tarasov has not helped us at all so we'll see if we can continue to outscore our problems in this series versus vegas and vegas's lineup i will bring it up they got Jakob peltier i'm awful with names you know that connor they got lorenzo what i what i worry about when i see these teams in 2033 is when I see a bunch of names I don't know. Because that means they have a lot of young, talented forwards. Because if they were familiar names, they'd be old and they'd be done. But Vegas here has built a really solid team. Bunch of guys I don't know. Bunch of young players who have matured through the franchise mode into excellent mid-80 overalls. A lot of pro- some prospects actually I recognize. Yeah, I don't know if you guys recognize some of these. Look at the look at the pictures. Do you guys recognize some of the the prospects? It's cool seeing them now in 2033 uh become what they are. Like I don't know if Barrett Hayton in real life is going to be an 86 overall, but we'll see. That's fun. Let's see who they have in goal. They got, oh my goodness. They have, for anybody who hasn't been here for a while, they have X Leaf, Kyle Hawes. Kyle Hawes was our starter in 27 28 and 28 29. He had decent seasons for us. Uh, his playoff stats with a, one of those, only one of those years did we, he play in the playoffs. Lost in the second round. Had a decent. Decent little run there. Seven and five. Um, X Leafs goalie, Kyle Hawes, who we yeeted. Robert Malloy is is correct. We did yeet Kyle Hawes into the moon when we did not want him anymore. And now, look, here he is uh, in the Stanley Cup Finals versus us as an elite goalie, apparently. We could have held on to him. But whatever. This is it. Okay, let me uh let me take a breath. 
let me get situated. Let me take a sip of my coffee. If you'll if you'll allow me, crab people. If you'll allow me to do that. Crab people, crab people. And while I do that, I yes, Robert. Robert, yes, I will I will bring up the push-ups. So on our channel here, we have a thing where you can wager doubloons and you can spend your doubloons on fun things like hydrate and push-ups, or I'll sneak a word into the show. Uh, the Steve Dango podcast, like I'll say a word for you. Uh, I last time we were here, somebody purchased two people purchased push ups, so I was forced to do twenty push ups, and I always do them for you because you you say I have to do them, so I do them. And I'm, I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna pull up my push ups. I sped it up as I usually do. It'll be like fifteen seconds of me doing twenty push ups. I took a break at like thirteen. You'll see a little hitch in the video. Because, like, 20 push-ups is a lot for for this weak little man. So here you go. For some reason, this is a thing we have to do on this channel. So here we go. Waffles did not make it in this time. Here are my push-ups. There's, there's me before the show. Well, after the Steve Dago podcast. I'm still in my crap people hoodie. There's the Roomba in the background. There was the hitch of where I took a break. Because 13. No, that was the hitch where I took a break. And there's 20. I think I did 21 by accident. Yeah, there's an extra one. There you go. That's it. 20 push-ups. You're welcome, crab people. There's a little confetti for 20 crab people, crab people. My form needs help, Robert says, but 7 out of 10. Thank you. I, think, I know it does definitely need help. So that's it. That's, that's 20 push-ups for you. Um, we also need to talk about how we're going to sim these games. We are doing all events sim because that is how we've reached this point but we are going to hop in if it's an overtime or i think that should be the only rule i think if it's an overtime we'll hop in or if it's a one goal game with 20 minutes to go in the third how about that how about that how about that those two things we lock in high G B's underscore two things. We will hop in the game and we will watch it. If it's, if it is OT cause OT is exciting or if it is one goal game, 20 minutes to go or 10 minutes to go. That damn double C says maybe hop in for the third. Not if it's a blowout, forget that, forget that mess. One goal game. I also have something in my hand here. It's, I'm going to talk about this on Monday. I don't know if you, this is a special surprise. I'm not supposed to talk about this, but it's a special surprise. I'm holding on to it. Um, I'll talk about that on Monday, but that's a little treat for everybody who watches the streams. You get to you get to see some of that on Monday on the Steve Dangle podcast. Also, and it's suit time because the Stanley Cup final. If you weren't here for when we went to Stanley Cup final last time, I always wear my suit because I feel like you got to dress up for the Stanley Cup final and you're in the press box uh, and it's fun. I'll talk about that once we get into the game. Suits tradition uh, on this stream. Let's go. Stanley Cup final. Toronto Maple Leafs. Vegas Golden Knights. What more could you ask for? What would be the best Stanley? Oh, my God. Alexander Turcotte puts us up one nothing, And then Frost scores on Carza. What would be the best? Stanley Cup final for the Leafs. I'm trying to think of like a Western Conference rive. I guess it'd be Vancouver. If we went Toronto, Vancouver, it'd probably be the most hyped Stanley Cup final in terms of matchup and drama. In real life, yeah, Paul says IRL. Edmonton. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Edmonton too. It have to be a Canadian team, um, for sure. Edmonton is a good is, McDavid versus Matthews. I think we found it. McDavid Matthews Stanley Cup Final. Edmonton Toronto. I think that's that's the biggest matchup that you could have for the Leafs. You know, it wouldn't be biggest in terms of like. 
TV ratings or anything like that. Hey, Timothy Farrell puts the Leafs up 2-1. Let's go. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. All right. Keep going. Third period. 2-1. Can we defeat the game? Have we put together a correctly dogged team that can win the Stanley Cup? I don't know, but we are so close. It is 2-2. Let's see what happens. If it becomes a one-goal game, I'm hopping in. If it goes to OT, we're hopping in and watching. Game one of the Stanley Cup final, if we get some OT. Oh, 3-2. Let's hop in. All right, 3-2 Leafs. CPU for CPU game. We play on All-Star. That's the rules. We play on All-Star throughout this entire thing. We're going to watch it. Seven minutes length, so like three minutes to go. It is 3-2 Leafs. Donovan Patan stepping up. All right, let me get some game audio in there for you. Let me know if it's too loud, if it's too quiet, if you like it. Let me get some little game audio action in here for you. There it is. 3-2 Leafs. Can we take game one of the Stanley Cup final? Oh, look at that beautiful T-Mobile arena. Wonderful place. I visited that arena uh, like three weeks ago now. Gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic in arena experience. We definitely need a pull of... Ha oh! Tarasov coming up huge there with a nice save. Zach Wierenski leading the playoffs in plus minus. The EA Sports broadcast thinks that's important to know. All right. Zeth Roll says, can you guess where I live if I give you our city slogan? Zeth Roll, let me hear it. What's the city slogan? And I'll definitely get it. Also, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. There's Matthews over to Patan. Robert updating us on how the betting is going. 58% for the Leafs, 42 for Vegas for game one. Oh, wow. The city that rhymes with fun. Zethro lives in the city that rhymes with fun. That's a that's a hard one. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. No, that's not Nick Patan. That's Don Donovan Patan. King Stun. <laughs> Emily from Discord with the, yes, you get low confetti for that. King Stun. That's good. Um, Newfoundland. Is that no? That doesn't. That doesn't work. Um, I, it's not a city. Um, Regina. What? England. Yes, England. Does that, does that work? How is it Regina? I don't, I don't get it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Delayed penalty here. Toronto is going on the PK. <laughs> you guys are too having too much fun in the chat today. It's Friday. You know it's Friday when the chat is having fun. How dare you... How dare you tell dirty jokes? I, I'm having fun. All right. Crab people, this one's for you. Crab people, crab people. Oh, my God. We almost scored on ourselves off the faceoff. 45 seconds to go in the game. The goalie is pulled. It is a six-on-four advantage for Vegas. Can they score here to tie it up and force it to overtime? But Popvin ices it. 
Thankfully, we are on the PK, so we can just send the, the puck to the other end of the ice. Here comes Vegas. Can they score one here? 23 seconds is all we have to kill. 19 seconds now on the board. Every single second matters for Vegas. 13 seconds. Can they get one more shot on goal here to close it out? They cannot. They cannot. Eight seconds. They couldn't get that shot even though they had the puck in the slot. Here's one last slapper. <laughs> Alexander Tarasov with the save. And that should seal victory in game one for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We are going up 1-0 in the Stanley Cup final, baby. Unless there is some dramatic goal off the faceoff in one second. We have done it. That is game number one. The Leafs are up. One nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, that calls for a dance party. There's Shish. Shish, please. Alexander Tarasov coming up huge for the first time in his career. Wow, look at that man make a save. Unbelievable. Let's go. We are three down. Three wins away. Who are the three stars? Uh, team stats. Can I just... First star, Alex Alexander Tarasov. First star of the game. He heard all of my complaints and is shutting me the hell up. Which will be a good thing for a lot of you. Alexander Tarasov. First star of the game. 38 out of 40 saves. Let's check and see if there's any injuries. Place your bets for game number two. Once the betting window has closed, I will hit Sim and we will get to game number two. Very exciting. We could potentially win the Stanley Cup. How crazy is that? I, I'm, I'm kind of in disbelief that we're at this point how far we've come you know it doesn't feel right the history of this franchise mode of one since 67 is losing like that's that's our ethos that's what we do here we fall in the first round sometimes the second round sometimes we don't make the playoffs and we sell but here we are comfortably correctly dogged austin matthews is 35 He's only got like three seasons left. And I don't know what I was going to do if like I might have left the GM and taken one of the other contracts that I get offered if Austin Matthews retires and we didn't get him a cup. Like I might have bailed on the team as well. But here we are three wins away. What's our what's I want to see Phil Kessel. Can I see Phil Kessel's records? I'm good to go. Uh. Phil Kessel, coach info. Oh, there we go. Can I see his records? Coaching record. Here we go. Full career stats. Ooh, this is awesome. Coached the Hershey Bears. Three AHL seasons. Came over to the Leafs in 2030, 2031. 48 wins first year. 35 and then 49. And then the playoff record. 2030 and then we missed the playoffs and then this year. Awesome. Coach Phil. Coach Phil. That's our boy. Great great start to his coaching career. I'll tell you that for certain. All right, let's get to game number two. Let's see what we can do. See if we can get up 2 nothing in this series. Oh, oh, oh. What's the stats? Calendar. See if we can get up 2 nothing. Take away home ice advantage from the Vegas Golden Knights. Win two games in T-Mobile. We barely squeaked out that last one. If I'm being honest. Oh, I got to turn off this stupid menu music. There we go. I was just enjoying. Hey, Austin Matthews! Can anybody name the three things that are guaranteed in life? Death, taxes, and Austin Matthews scoring. But now we have allowed three goals on seven shots. Everybody. 
Three goals on seven shots. Carlton the Bear, get out here. You know what time it is. Three goals on seven shots. Dylan, get there. Get out of here, Carlton. Dylan, get out of here. Out of Dylan, get there. Bring it back, baby. What a turnaround. What a game. What a game number two. Six goals in the first period. Adam, what does the Fox stay is still doing a jig. 4-3. I can't keep up. Seven goals so far in this game. Tarsov could not buy us a save in the first two periods. Just an awful performance in goal after having his only good performance in the entire playoffs in game number one. Game two, he has resorted back to his regular play of terrible. As Carlton the Bear would say, this is terrible. And then a dancing unicorn would walk on by without a care in the world and a thought in its brain. 5-3. 5-3. Late in the second period, Vegas gets another one, and they are up 5-3 in game number two of the 2033 Stanley Cup Final. 6-3. Oh, my goodness. We are not hopping into this game. Oh, baby, we do not want to see this team get blown out and be devastated. I hope Smaby is now in goal. Tarasov has been pulled. Um, if, if anybody else caught that, I saw Tar uh, Smaby makes a save. Um, we do not root for injuries, Robert Malloy. That is not nice. We hope Tarasov is fine and that he was just pulled because he allowed too many goals. And Smaby doesn't get the start in game three because... Phil Kessel still believes in our boy. All right. 1-1 one, one in the series. If we had received any type of goaltending, three goals should be enough to win a hockey game, but it is not when you have our goalie. Let's see what we can do in game number three. Pay out all of the people who did not believe in the Toronto Meafs in game number two. Yes, we are going to check injuries. Norm can't shoot. Thank you. It was maybe in that game. Let's check and see. We will check injuries. No injuries. I believe... Uh, I wish you could go back and check the box score. But I don't have the box scores available. Like, every other game has... I get mad at EA for no reason. Um, yeah, you can't check the box score of games. Which is silly. It's very silly. All right, everybody lay your bets for game number three. We are back home at Scotiabank Arena. Now we can win the Stanley Cup on... No, we could have done that with a sweep. I was going to say, now it's more likely we could win it on home ice. But, like, it would have been more likely with a sweep. So, we're going to go to edit lines. We're going to hit head coach preferred lines. So, we know that Phil Kessel is doing his job. Our goalies, Tarasov is still in goal. Still doing his thing. Smaby got in in relief in that game because Tarasov allowed six goals. There's his numbers. Just fantastic. Theo Smaby. Just fantastic goalie. Our starter, not so much. I hope everybody is wagering on game number three. I'm ready to go whenever you are ready to go. A lot of people got on me for last stream. Not because I did anything controversial. It was just that I said a truth. I said a truth about chicken not belonging on pizza. And then somebody tweeted it at me. And I quote tweeted it how chicken on pizza is disgusting. And then... One thing I didn't bring up on today's Steve Dangle podcast with Steve Dangle, Adam Wilde, and Jesse Blake is that Steve's own wife, Steve's own wife disagrees with him. Steve believes that chicken belongs on pizza, but Mrs. Dangle, she is on Team No Chicken Pizza, is what we're going to make t-shirts of. No, Team No Chicken Pizza New shirt idea. Write that down. 
Um, Mrs. Dangle is on my team. And on Monday, we got to talk about how there is a rift in the Dangle household. And we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to bring it up. We're going to see how it goes. Game number three. Hope it goes a lot better in game number two because that was not fun. Except for that first period where we came back and it was all 3-3 three, three, and it was rosy and we were cooking. It was a good time. Oh, my goodness. one nothing Vegas. Not great. one nothing Vegas. Hey, Austin Matthews on Kyle Hawes. Let's go, Matthews. Bring it out. Get out the stuff. I can't even celebrate these goals without Vegas scoring. I hit the goal button, and then by the time the horse, they're still clapping. By the time the audience is done clapping, Vegas scores every time. It's a goal by Toronto, and then it's a comeback goal by Vegas. It's disgusting, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um... I'd love to know what you guys are eating tonight on a Friday night. Does anybody have any snacks that they want to share with the audience? Please, please share if you are eating dinner currently. If you are enjoying some snacks and watching Forstrom tie it all up at 2! 2-2 two. Two, two. in the second period. Game number three. Please share your snacks. This is now a food stream. Sesame chicken, pizza with chicken on it. Everybody is just trolling. You guys are in a mood tonight. First vagina jokes, and then trolling with chicken on pizza. Jalapeno roasted peanuts, says Vita side. That's fun. Trader, Trader Joe's chicken gyoza. Sipping some rye. Ooh, fancy. My dinner is chocolate ice cream with fudge. Insider Jamie. I love chocolate ice cream, but I can't eat it because I lack a little toast in my tolerance. So it's not good for farts, if we're being honest. So I can't eat ice cream all the time, but I love ice cream, but I can't eat it. Timbits, no name here says, I want some Timbits. Timbits are delish. Are we going to overtime? Are we getting some playoff overtime here? Five minutes left in the third period. It is all knotted up at twos. Game number three of the Stanley Cup final in 2033. The Toronto Maple Leafs are three wins away from the Stanley Cup final, and we are not going to overtime at all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. As I hit the button to hop in the game for overtime, Adam Fox scored. Adam Fox scored with 30 seconds left. Oh, baby, we're not going to overtime. What is happening? Face four seconds. What am I talking about? 30 seconds left. There's four seconds left. Oh my goodness. I wish we could see the goal. Wow. What does the Adam Fox say? Bring out the animals. We are two wins away from the Stanley Cup. The Toronto Meefs are two wins away from the T Toronto Maple Leafs hoisting the Stanley Cup. Oh, wow. I thought we were watching overtime, and all of a sudden, a three hops on the board. Can we, can we, can, does it retroactively, no, it doesn't like have it. It doesn't make up like fake highlights of the goal or anything in summary. All I know is Adam Fox scored 1956. Adam Fox, eighth goal of the playoffs. Wow. Unbelievable. There's a good game. There's another good game by Tarasov. When your goalie makes a great save, you stick tap your goalie, you tip your waiter on your way out, and you pet our terrific mods, Robert Beloy. It's Jamie Yams in the building. You pet the mods. It's game number four. Two wins away from the Stanley Cup here. I was trying to look for some more of your 
<laughs> uh, Robert Malloy says, Jamie Yams is at dinner. So if you pet the mods, it's exclusively me for now. So yes, you will be petting Robert Malloy if you hit the pet the mods emote. It, it's so weird and gross. It's so it looks it looks gushy, you know. It looks like it's a gushy motion. Do you know what I mean? All right. I don't know what to make of this situation. Cause honestly, we've never been this close. We had a Stanley Cup final versus Colorado. And I think we lost it 4-1. We went down 3-0 in the series. And there was never a shot for us to win. Like, it was never close. It, it is, we made it there. And, like, I thought going into the series that we would win. But once we got into the series, we realized there was no chance because we kept losing. Down 3-0 real quick. So we're going to hop into game number four here. Game number four, I've hit Sim. Bring it up. As usual, I'm going to predict that within 10 seconds of me finishing this sentence, Vegas will score a goal that Tarasov, it'll be an ugly goal. And it'll be on like seven shots and it'll be one nothing Vegas because that is how it always goes. And it happened. It happened. Everybody saw that. Right? <laughs> Donovan Patan ties it up, though. Thank goodness we have first overall pick in 2030, Donovan Patan. I called that first goal. Every single game, seven shots. Tarasov, goal. Ridiculous. Friggin' goalie. It's upsetting. This time, if it's tied with five minutes ago, we're hopping. Oh, my God. Formington scores. Eight shots, two goals. <sighs> Puts on a 38 save performance in game number three. Game number four comes out, allows two goals on eight shots to open the game. Not great. Not great at all. Let's see if we can get one back here. We are on the PP. RIP. William Nylander, who was the star of our PP time button, but Orb, Orb, King Orb, a score, and Peyton makes it 3 2. I can't even press the buttons in time. I can't even press the buttons in time, and Vegas scores. Oh, goodness. We can't just, ah, uh, 4 2. 4 2. Vegas Golden Knights. Let's try and get one here. Make it a close game. We can watch it. If we get up, if we get it to four three, we can hop in. Toronto get to four three. Let's go. Four three. I was real quick on the trigger. I'm sorry. As soon as I saw Turcotte potted, I hit it. Um, but let's try. Let's get a comeback here. Let's do this. It's a one goal game. Eleven minutes to go. Your Toronto Meafs can do it. Let's get some game audio in here. All right. There's Shish coming up the wing. Oh, great hit by Turcotte. Oh, Turcotte couldn't pick up the puck. And get a shot after that great hit. Stealing the puck in the slot there. Couldn't get the shot, though. Which is what matters. Oh, you hear that crowd? The crowd's into it. Let me, let me, let me hit the crowd button. Let me hit a little confetti for our Leafs. Let me hit a little confetti for the Meafs. Turcotte! Saved by Kyle Haas. Nine minutes to go. Game number four. Stanley Cup final. 2033. Face off here in the offensive zone. Can our Meafs get one goal here? Possibly force overtime. If we could get two goals, man, be on top of the moon if we can go up. 3-1. Oh, there's Matthew. Matthews, you gotta shoot that. Oh. Matthews, who's 35. 
in the game, 35 years young. A younger Matthews would have snapshotted that. Let's be honest here. That's old man Matthews showing his age, not getting that snapshot off. Young man Matthews would have had that. Top cheese. Ah, huge win by Vegas. Oh, Donovan Patan steals it. Can't get away from the Vegas defender, though, but Jeff Perrin has it. Over to Matthews to Genther to Genther to save. Patan steals it. Patan shoots it right at Kyle Oz's face. Oh, baby. We're getting some good shots here. We're making this a thing. Oh. Time on attack's pretty much even. Seven minutes and 47 to go. See if we can do it. Huge faceoff win for Vegas. Takes it out of the, the zone there and all the way deep to the other end. They win. They lose the puck battle against... No, no. They win the puck battle against the Boars. They keep it in the zone. Not great for us. Thankfully, Tarasov knows how to make a save every once in a while in his life saves that puck all we do is score three goals for him and he never helps us there's Kyle Haas making a X leaf making a nice save please continue to let me know what you are snacking on tonight on this Friday night April 1st let me know your dinner your snacks what you're enjoying while you watch your Toronto Meafs try and take home the Stanley Cup tonight there's Jeff Perrin Beauty, Jeff Perrin, with a nice shot. And there's a juicy rebound, and Timothy Farrell cannot jump on the rebound. Cadbury mini eggs we got in the chat. Sour keys, beers, and mac and cheese. Oh, there's Tarasov letting in a snipe. He should have had that shot. Morgan Frost. Morgan Frost point. Oh. Oh, ugly, ugly. Just, I'm going to go back to the food. We got toast, poutine, beef monster munch, hummus. That sounds disgusting. Hummus and crackers. BLT. Fried liver. What? What? Pop-Tarts. Ooh, love Pop-Tarts. Homemade butter chicken. Ooh. Carrots and sadness. We are all experiencing sadness tonight. And with that fifth goal of the game. Oh, it's not out of reach just yet because Pavel Shishkonov has other things. He is not letting the Leafs go home just yet. Tape to tape from Orb. Tish. Mr. Shish gone off. Shish, please. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a great line. The Turcotte Shish Orb line. It's one of our best lines ever. Genther Matthews Patan is up there, too. The Willie Matthews Genther line, I think, was the best line we ever put together with the plus five uh, morale boost. Or chemistry boost, sorry. Um, that, I think, was the best line we ever put together. But this line's pretty good, too. Because Patan... Oh! Off the post, Genther. Genther! <gasps> Genther with two great shots there. Two terrific chances. That A... Back on that A does look real good on Shish. It does. It looks special. Matthews, captain... Oh, wins that huge face-off draw. There's Patan. Patan just can't get enough on the shot. Backhand just kind of trickles over to Haas. Vegas now pressuring. Oh, Matthews with a beautiful defensive play. Selkie winner, Matthews. Genther can't do anything with that. Shot gets blocked. If only we had goaltending, says Gravely Dig 64. I hear that. Four goals should be enough to win a hockey game, but not for us. Not for this goaltending. We got a minute here to go. 
Was is that true? Shish is our first ever draft pick. That's awesome. I love that. Shish has been around for so long. It's awesome to see. That was Alexander Tarasov. All right. Forty-six seconds. The goalie is gonna leave the net very soon. If we can get a hold of this puck, and there it is. Jeff Perrin has it. Let's send it up ice. Let's get it into the zone. Let's set up this offense. We have one last shot on goal here. Hopefully, Turcock can get something here over to Orb. That was it. That was the shot. We still have a little bit more pressure here. Give it back to Perrin. Give it back to Perrin at the top. Of okay, it's still, that works too. Perrin was wide open at the top. They should have just swung it out to the blue line, then back to the other defenseman. That works too, getting a Matthew shot in the slot. I like that. But it didn't go in. And we need it to go in. Why is our third line out there? Phil Kessel sends out our third line with 23 seconds to go because the game is dumb. And this looks like it's it. No. We hold off the empty net. Maybe we can get one last shot on goal here. Walensky to Faro. Faro Rister is blocked. 10 seconds to go. I hope your butt cheeks are unclenched. The Toronto Meafs. Oh, my God. What happened there? How did we almost score? Are you serious? So there's three seconds left here. Farrell has a shot. Oh my God. Farrell has a clear shot on goal. And this, I'm like, okay, the game's over. Even if this is in, I'm going to be depressed because it's not going to count. And there's still time. We make this save. Kyle Hawes comes up huge on Walensky. Oh my goodness. Faro, rebound, Walensky, saved. That's game. Kyle Hawes, great performance. Wow. 5 4. Vegas wins. 2 2. Two two. Stanley Cup Final twenty thirty three. Pay out the people who did not believe in the Toronto Meafs and Robert Malloy. Do not set another poll for who you think is going to win Game Five. Oh, I, I saw you already said it. Don't don't bet on that. We're coming back with a best of three on Wednesday. We're finishing off this series on Wednesday. The Toronto Meafs or the Vegas Golden Knights will win the Stanley Cup. One of the two teams will win the Stanley Cup this coming Wednesday. At 7 p.m. Uh, is the, the Leafs play? I mean, before I, before I commit to any times. Maybe before a Leafs game. Hold on. Let me... Let me... Uh, no, I'm just... I'm Googling... Leafs schedule here. Oh, okay. So schedule Leafs. What day is Wednesday? Schedule. Uh no! Perfect! Wonderful. <sighs> Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. We played four games tonight. We got three to go. Three games left. If this goes to a game seven, we will watch the entirety of game seven for sure. But five and six, I think we stick to, we sim periods one and two. We watch the full third period is what we're going to do on Wednesday. And then game seven, if it's a game seven, we'll watch it. But I'll see you then. Let me know where you're watching from. Adam would want a Manscaped commercial here. Oh, yes, he would. We have to do my favorite thing to do in the world. I have to find out where you are watching this stream from. Gravely Digs is in Arizona. We got beautiful Las Vegas. We got Balls Town, USA. Germany. The UK. Guelph. Boston. The Hammer Hamilton.
Walkerton, Ontario. Shout out, Walkerton. Nova Scotia. Another Guelph. You guys go meet up. Halifax, London, Edmonton. Another Balls Town. You're not watching the Balls Town, I know. Pittsburgh, Albuquerque, downtown Toronto, Ottawa, middle of nowhere, colon, Iowa, Chicken Pizza, Manitoba, French Canada, Quebec, Australia, Saga City. Good night from Toronto. Could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here tonight with us. The crab people. Crab. Crab. I will see you on Wednesday where we will continue the 2033 Stanley Cup final. It is tied 2 2 between the Vegas Golden Knights and your Toronto Meafs. Wednesday might be the end of 1 since 67. I hope that you are there with me Wednesday at 7. Good night. I'll see you then.